dancing in that wilderness there are Children, butterflies and flowers A scene as if held captive in a brutal grip there are Children, butterflies and flowers A fright as if all vanished from this world without a trace a nothingness as if their very lives has been erased Children, butterflies and flowers A river was whose every a gift of joy Children, butterflies and flowers A river was in which have perished every girl and boy Children, butterflies and flowers A solitude exists in the peacefulness of night A darkness falls as if extinguished all of light Children butterflies and flowers Oh poet for what crime of ours have we paid such a hefty toll Children butterflies and flowers The murderers have snatched from us from us our one and all Children butterflies and Any calls from Pakistan? Sorry, sir. Hey, Fatima? Hello? It's me. Any news? Oh, oh, sorry, Bhaiya, for not calling. Uh, she started contractions early this morning, and you know, I was tied up all morning trying to get through to that, um, what, what is his name, Dr. Jamsaid. What happened? Is Zarina okay? Yes, yes, we took her to the hospital. And? And she's at the hospital awaiting delivery. Oh, thank God. But why on earth are you home? Who is with her? Who'll drive her home? <laughs> Calm down, Bhaiya. Everybody is there. With Zarina. And your blooming flower. My flower? <laughs> My Yasmin. <laughs>
The State Department has said it was already evacuated because of what had happened here in New York City. So, quickly to recap the chronology as you look live at the scene of the one remaining tower, the World Trade Center, we had a plane crash from a plane hijacked out of Boston just before 9 o'clock. It, uh, it, it hit Tower 1 of the World Trade Center. One of the concerns, of course, was that the Emergency Command Center was at 7 World Trade Center, which was across the street from Tower 1. Then a second crash, 18 minutes later, what we've heard from the Associated Press was that a plane out of Newark, then, then a third crash, oh at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Um, President Bush did comments earlier. He called it an apparent terrorist attack, but then they updated it to call Seemingly, it a... Seemingly at this point, it's quite certain. He pledges the government's full support for the victims and their families, as well as uh, a full-scale investigation to hunt down those responsible. How does our little blossom look? See, uh, I have so much love for her. But for now, all I have are flowers to gaze at. Perfectly formed. Petal. By petal. Both mother and daughter. Darling, little fingers and toes. Oh, yes, mean. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Excuse me, miss. Is this a jasmine plant? No, I'm afraid not. How about a Japanese anemone? It's really a lovely plant. It comes in light pink and with shades of purple. They're really similar to jasmines. May I help you? I'm looking for a jasmine plant. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It's not in season. But can I interest you in maybe a perennial or, or a marigold? Uh, but, I, but I saw one. Well, it's very unlikely. Jasmines only bloom when conditions are perfect. Yes, I'm Agent Lewis. This is Agent Posca, Agent Hendricks. We're with the FBI. Are you Mr. Hush? Yes, this is me, Hasham. Why don't we come and ask you a few questions? Please come in. Sir. What's your full name? Hasham Hussein. Ah! Hussein is in Saddam Hussein? No, I'm from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. Where were you yesterday morning at 9.25 a.m.? Yeah, when the first plane hit the World Trade Center, sir. E excuse me. W why are you asking me this? Oh, sir, Mr. Hussein, let's not waste time. Where were you at 9.25 yesterday morning? I, I must have been returning from my office. I I've had a lot going on. Did you yell out, yes? Yes, but I... I, 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 I Where just... was the plane that you dug up yesterday? Yes, mean. Why are you hiding this plant here? What is this? Is Serena okay? Who is Serena, sir? One of your partners? A partner? Well, y yes, but she, she's in Pakistan. Mr. Hussein, you're gonna have to come with us immediately for some questioning. Can I make a phone call? Not today, pal. Gentlemen? Agent Stone. What do you think about this plant? According to my research, the term flower is derived from Old French, flow, and Latin, form, also known as bloom or uh, bosom. <laughs> bosom? <laughs> blossom, blossom. You said bosom. 
I, I meant blossom. <laughs> you said bosom. Look, <laughs> the, look, the blossom and flower structures contain the plant's reproductive organs. These reproductive organs function to produce seeds through sexual reproduction. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Please, go on. Plants produce two types of reproductive spores. Really? Oh, yes. Um, the pollen are the male spores, and the ovules are the female spores. Do they make love? <laughs> <laughs> the female reproductive organ, the carpal, This contains an ovary with ovules, which contain female gamete. Very interesting. Are you certain that is the correct term? Wait, wait, are you saying that there are male and female flowers? No. <laughs> no, he's saying that they're, well, gay. <laughs> <laughs> Gay. <laughs> you know what I mean. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, these flowers are described by botanists as being perfect, bisexual, or hermaphroditic. However, in some species of plants, the flowers are imperfect or unisexual. unisexual. Very, very impressive. Shouldn't we figure out the connection between Mr. Hussein and Saddam Hussein? Who? Right. In what capacity is he using this plant? He isn't. This plant is insignificant. Instead, we should be reviewing his phone records, credit card history, and bank statements. I subpoenaed his cell phone records. No, 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 no. I still don't understand the purpose of this plant. There are significant and compelling connections between the plant and the planes hitting the towers. What do you mean? For example, poppies are a symbol of consolation in time of death. In the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, red poppies are worn to commemorate soldiers who've died in times of war. And irises or lilies, they're used in funerals as a symbol of the resurrection of life. And daisies, aren't daisies a symbol of innocence? Yes! It's clear now that this plant is to celebrate the killing of innocent people. How do we proceed? Attack! Kill it! Destroy! Terminate it! Fire!
Chitti 